beings that I am, you know, uh, very knowledgeable of the scripture. The Holy Spirit is strong inside of me, okay? In Ephesians chapter 6, it says, Arm yourself with the sword of the Spirit, the word of God. The more you know God's word, the more the Spirit has a sword to be able to shine through you, okay? In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, I believe it is, Paul says, and my preaching, or uh, my preaching, and my my speech, and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, okay, uh, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of the power, so that your faith will not be in men, but in the power of God, okay. So what Paul's saying there is, you know, when a spiritual person like himself, somebody who knows God well, knows God's word, comes to you and starts speaking to you spiritually about these type of things, okay. Uh, God wants you to know it's not even them anymore. The Holy Spirit has taken over that conversation, okay, and it's, he's the one leading it because God don't want you to trust me. I don't want you to trust. I mean, I do want you to trust me, but I'm not the one that is like, I didn't come up with all this stuff, but I'm telling y'all, okay, the things that, you know, uh, I feel like God wants me to do with his physical ministry, I didn't come up with all that stuff. God, give me all this stuff, okay? Now, I trust in him completely. Isaiah 40, uh, 40, 31 says, Those who trust in the Lord will rise up like eagles. They'll walk and they won't grow weary and they'll run and they won't grow faint. All right. Now, I put my trust in God for every little aspect of this. All right. I, I'm not there yet and I'm surprised, okay? But God's going to make doggone sure well I'm ready. All right. And, and, you know, the pieces have to be right to be able to make something like this happen. And he's already given me big pieces, okay? And and I jumped the gun on him, all right, a couple times. And then on the last one, when he, uh, you know, introduced me to the sheriff of, uh, you know, one of the little counties here, that was one of the strategies that he put in my heart a long time ago, okay, was to align myself with powerful somebody, you know, with power, okay? Now, when this happened, I knew that this was an anointed relationship but not it okay because god hasn't anointed it yet he didn't anoint it when moses went out and killed that man egyptian all right moses jumped the gun he was ready god wasn't ready he went out there and did that and you know that's you know i've done that before okay but this time i didn't okay but i do know that's an annoying situation and when this ministry gets going i'm going to uh connect with that sheriff okay and we're going to use uh, him to help this facility, okay, and to help me get to people in positions to where we could, you know, that's the that's the th that's the strategy God put in my uh, heart with, you know, matches me and my. Okay, guys, listen. Uh, two Timothy three sixteen. Okay, it says all Scripture is given by God. Okay, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof. Okay, for correct correction for instruction in righteousness, okay, so that the man of God is thoroughly equipped for all good works, all right, so that's uh, instruct for doctrine, that's teaching you guys, okay, for reproof, that's backing me up, okay, for correction, that's when people are making mistakes in instruction in righteousness, that's to get you back in with God, okay, so that the man of God, me, is thoroughly equipped for all good works. When I'm going to that Bible, people, and I'm coming to y'all, and I'm telling y'all these things, is from God, man. It's the things that you need to be doing, and that's why my, you know, all these other people out there on these YouTube channels, they give you